Hi, I'm with uh, Brian Thomas out on uh, Lafayette Street in downtown Stockton. Brian, why are people still out here on the streets? Well, first of all, I mean, there, there's, there's no programs intact. Um, facilities that are, are available to, to accommodate the people that are homeless, and this is, this is my opinion as, as I'm out here, um, and then the parts of, 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 the, of the drug part of it is, there's, I mean, with the crystal meth that's out here, it's very hard when you don't have programs that help you come back to normal state of mind or normal thinking. Um, it's just that you're on meth, you're screwed up, and you're on the wayside. And you can look over here on the lower bottoms underneath the bridges. Like Mormon Slough. Man, about 10 years ago, there was absolutely none of what you see now. I mean, it, it, it's, it's total chaos. It's a, it's a genocide, and, and, and I look at it very sad because it can happen to anybody. Um, so much as, as the business owners, the guys that pay taxes downtown and all these other places, I can really feel and fathom that hey, you're trying to run a business and you got people standing out front homeless and they don't see it as this is a business. They see it, I'm gonna hang out and do what I wanna do. Life's kinda of a little rough for me, so let me do what I need to do. And that's probably not the right approach. So all those business uh, owners out there, I, I can feel you, I can totally understand they're chasing all business and you're in business to make money and you're not in business to lose money. So I think that's another uh, program that where people have to go through the process of understanding what the business owners out here are feeling. And what, what can be done in your eyes to fix this? You know what, I was coming uh, through uh, Ball's track and I kept looking at this enormous property before you come uh, into St. Mary's, old rail yard. I mean, it looks like you can probably do a facility. I mean, a real uh, state-of-the-art facility, top-notch councilman, I mean, you have to be aggressive at it. Probably about 3,000 people. And if you look around here and we start counting all these people, I don't know if we got 3,000 people in the, in, the, in the part of downtown, which would actually be great for learning purposes, health purposes, re rehabilitation. You make it a one-stop shop. It could be done. How do you fund it? Well, you know Stockton's probably out of money. It's always a budget. I mean, I, I, I'd go for all 50 states and do fundraisers to bring Stockton back. That, that, that would be that would be how I would present it. Let's bring Stockton back and let's do some fundraisers. I mean, all, all the people, I, I, I call on you out there to be able to, if, if, if we can do it, it would make things change and it would make a difference because they have to go somewhere. But this is like genocide. It's, it's, it's something I've never seen before. Thank you, Brian. Yep.